What's up, Ram fam? Welcome back to another Food Challenge Friday, guys. Now, we might have to do that again because then just run my intro. Look. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> 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 What's up guys? Welcome back to another Food Challenge Friday. This is starting off great guys. First time we are going to try our new style where we kind of just sit down. We're not so focused on the food challenge, but we're going to sit down and make it a bit more podcasty. So we're going to call it a food cast, mm -hmm. um, which is something I like. Mm -hmm. So what we've done, we've just got a normal steak dinner. We've got some nice hash browns and some nice damper rolls and we're just going to tuck into this we got some hot news topics that I found about 15 minutes ago hot and news. we've got some questions from you guys that you want us to answer but before we get into any of that kind of stuff I need to make myself a bit of a bag of sandwich yeah. because I've been looking out for this app since we went shopping I don't even finish that hash brown so good but so hot like very hot, very hot. Yeah. yeah, I did just pull it out of 180 degree. These buns are the best too, nice and soft though. Yeah, they're the damp ones. I've got a little bit of butter here as well, um, but it's good butter. Lowers your cholesterol. Cholesterol. Lowers your cholesterol. Remember what steak was what? Uh, yeah, so this one here was the thinner one of the two, which was the. That's the porterhouse, mm -hmm. and that's the other one. What was the other one? Riboy? No. I can't even remember. Okay, take the packet. Mum, I've said it to you just before. Yeah, I can't right. remember. We literally sat there for about. 20 minutes at Coles fillet. too, looking for... Root fillet! Root fillet. Oh, scotch fillet! Scotch fillet. Close! It had fillet <laughs> in it. Scotch fillet. We sat there how long have we been section looking to? Like way too long, we walked up and down it a few times. <laughs> Alright, so my burger is going to consist of a hash brown base, a little bit of BBQ sauce, and then that, the pieces I've oh, had off this is nice. really good. So. I hope there's enough blood on there for you, bro. I like my steak dead. Mm. No. Not bad. Not bad for someone mm. who doesn't cook right. You look like that. Or for someone who just doesn't cook in general, because yeah. I really don't cook that often. Not bad. You don't. Yeah, that's enough out of your mum over there. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm going to get tomato on this one and chuck a hashi on there. Mmm. There we go. All white power in this video. Is strictly flour from the buns. <laughs> strictly. I'm gonna pop my phone up, get some questions rolling for you guys. Not sure. We'll be back in one cup. Oh, cheers, bro. You'd think we'd be more organised by the time. Like, wait, how many of these have we done? I don't know, but usually we get. <laughs> it's yeah, just like a big yeah. bag of food or takeaways or something. That's <laughs> <with> everything. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> what is your most memorable childhood moment? Mine. Mm. My most memorable childhood, childhood moment. I reckon mine would probably have to be when you and Daniel, you and Brendan, sorry, <laughs> moved all the yeah, clocks two yeah. hours forwards. Yeah, it's it about two hours. Yeah, an hour or something. My fifth or sixth birthday party, anyway, the first birthday party I've ever had, my fifth birthday party. Um, my brothers moved all the clocks in the house two hours forward, told me it was time my friends were coming, locked me outside and sat there singing, nod your head, your friends aren't coming, for Remember two hours that? until my friends came. So that, that, that was probably my <laughs> most memorable. Yeah, would have been my most favorite, but most memorable. I'm just trying to think, like I don't remember much from when I was a kid, I suppose, apart from the time my cousin was dragging me around the house. Um, I think it was just a blanket or a sheet or something. And I went, I don't know if she went or I went smack into the cupboard and a big photo frame, like massive photo frame. They used oh, to be hanging up here. Yeah. 
fell off the top and just split me straight across the forehead. That's what the scar's from. <laughs> yeah. No, it's Harry Potter. No. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably... That's better than my story. The youngest sort of thing I can remember. I'm sorry to interrupt you use guys there, but mum, yeah. isn't my eyebrow scar from like a shampoo bottle or something? Yep. Shampoo bottle from the shower. Daniel's a sex. That's real. just bloody embarrassing, man. Yeah. At least she had a picture frame full on you. I was like, you don't even remember when I um slammed your finger in the door either. No. Oh. <laughs> You're a bit little. But I see the scars on a daily basis. Well, your finger's longer, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I lost the whole tip of my ring finger, essentially. It was just hanging on by a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I was only one, though, so... Mum was on the way to the doctor's for the Right, we were talking about that other day. Mum wasn't that much of a panic. She was in the car and down the road before Dad even had her own in the car. <laughs> it was so funny. Or well, on the day of our cousin's christening, too. Yup. That was really good. It's tender. Mm. I'm very tender. <sighs> oh, yeah. What other questions have we got? Alright guys, as time goes on as well, we are going to get better with the whole format of this. We're going to have it a lot more flowy and everything like that. Um, and we'll have guests as well, so we're not always just oh, nice. us. Yeah. Um, that is the thing on. Uh, what is one place you really like to visit? One place I'd really, really like to visit. Oh, I was thinking about this the other day. Egypt is on the top of my... Like, the pyramids would be fat, yeah. the Sphinx and that, that would Just be awesome. everything to do with Egypt, I've always been fascinated. Mm-hmm. Um, man, bloody aliens built the pyramids. And that's why I want to go to Stonehenge. Aliens built them too. But Stonehenge, I don't know why, it's just like rocks up on a hill, but I want to go there. That would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. One of the many wonders of the world. That's Scotland or England? Stonehenge. Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. Overseas. I don't know. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are your words to live by? Well, everyone knows mine. As I said at the end of the video. If you don't, watch my videos all the way through. Next question. <laughs> are there any toys from your childhood that you still have hold to you, that you still have and hold dear to your heart? I'm going to let Daniel answer this one first. No, I actually haven't. You don't? No, I don't even think when I was I'm young, sure no, mum still I has your teddy toys. bear or anything, did you I? Had bananas and pajamas. No, that was him. Was that him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I Everything bananas, bananas and pajamas. The little bananas and pajamas teddy. Because I used to pretend that was bananas and pajamas door in our backyard that we used to photo props. Yep. Yeah. I was frustrated. That yeah. was him. I, mean, I was a nerd. So Brendan had that teddy. Yeah, teddy. Yeah. I don't think I had any sort of teddies or anything. No, um, you just made a mess in your room. I just had lots of lots of toys and stuff. Yeah. I still to this day have a teddy. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was given to me when I was born, Mum. Was that right? Yep. Given to me when I was born, and it's still on my bed. Um, <laughs> still sleep with it every night. Yeah, it's my cuddle buddy. Um, obviously, there's no girls around here, so it's yeah. cuddle buddies with my teddy bear. <laughs> Actually, I'm not complaining whatsoever because at this point in my life, I'm nowhere seeking a female <laughs> companion because I have no time for that kind of stuff. Sure. Teddy's eating steaks with my bro. Steak <laughs> No. <laughs> Alright. Next home. question before we get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we did find the Game Boys the other day, remember? Oh, we did. Mm -hmm. That colour. Found our Game Boy colour. Child with Lord. Pokemon Blue. And I found that other little silver one with the flip screen. Oh, you did? Mm. That was mine. That, that was, was mine. That was the event. Because I was like, on the cusp. Of the 90s kids. And then we used to before oh, that. Me and Brennan used to have the like, like, OG ones that are like this big and about and that fat. The black and white screen. I still ones. remember them like. I'll get a picture up on the screen for you guys. If, um, <laughs> I'm sure my age in my younger life. <laughs> <laughs> you had the Tamagotchis. The Tamagotchis. Oh yeah, they're, they're yeah. Everyone yeah. had those. Tamagotchis. Well, um. What's the most useless fun fact you know? Uh, I like steak. Alright, I heard one. I heard one today, but yesterday, and I couldn't remember for the life of me. Most useless fun fact. Oh, what was it? 
I'm proud of this. Yeah, see, I always hear them, but I, I never remember them because they're useless. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're like, oh yeah, that's interesting, but, man. It was, oh, I can't even remember what it was about. It was that useless and stupid, I'm like, didn't even need to know it. <laughs> I'm getting full. I'm just starting. Um, what is the nicest job you've ever had? Is that nicest as in, like, most rewarding? Or nicest as in you've enjoyed it the most? Um, I take that as most enjoyable job you've had. Or, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's a tough one. I reckon probably tennis coach. That's pretty fun. Yeah. You got to pretty much play tennis with kids all day. Um, and then once the kids went home, we used to have a hit around and then go home. That was pretty cool. Um, but the most rewarding job I had was probably when I was my, my last full-time job, which was servicing mobility equipment to helping disabled people get back into their day-to-day -day lives and things. Um, what do you do, bro? Um, I don't know. Free school. Yeah, hot dog carts. What we're doing now is awesome. Yeah, true. Um, I forgot about that. Hot dog carts. What are they doing now? Yeah. I mean, through school, I used to make pizzas and that for the pizza shop. I used to love that. Like, I was chill. That was Man, he used fun. to come home smelling like <laughs> best food. Do you remember that? He walked oh, in the yeah. house and just smelled like Roscoe's. Yes. Always have like a container of food or something with me for lunch. You like, know, my nicest job, rewarding job, becoming a mum. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Enough of the questions, I got some fun facts. Well, not some fun facts. Uh, we should probably address why there wasn't a video on Wednesday. <laughs> you lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I just really don't want to be on camera at the moment, guys. It's, I'm finding it really hard to put on a face um, and full energy towards the camera. I need to remember, um, no matter what I do, or no matter what anyone really does in life, you're going to get hate and there's going to be people mm -hmm. that message you with this just just stupid things that they don't need to message you like they took the time out of your day just to put you down yeah. um, I just need to remember that you get that everywhere and not to let that sort of affect what the people who generally watch my videos mm -hmm. come to watch it for um, but enough of the sad talk this is also sad talk Tesla semis they're not coming to Australia just yet do you know why? can you guess why? It's common. Our laws? Yeah, but what to do with our laws? It's common with American vehicles. It's a modifying for our oh, laws. Left hand drive? No. No. They're nothing. too big for our roads. Oh, okay. Do you remember the Hummer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had to bring out the H3 from the, the H2 Hummer series and bring it smaller down to our roads. Because our roads suck. Mm. <laughs> so that's what they're trying to do with the Tesla Semi at the moment. Because when they bring that over, bro, our trucking industry is just going to. So that means the cyber truck and everything then is going to be too big for our roads. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, well. That thing is huge. Yeah, I know, it looks beasty. But, what did they put it up against? The F250 or 450? Four. 450, yeah, C450 struggle to fit on our roads. But they also want a rematch because Ford complained about something. And they'll always complain. So there's this Tesla's, they're never going to beat an electric motor, bro. No way way in hell. Ford now using their Tesla electric motors in their Mustangs. Mm -hmm. They just released them like this week. Because Elon is all around a good guy. I'm very free up. Good guy. But that's a shame because like imagine having them on the road here. Semis. Oh. Bro. So much better. Do you know how many trucking accidents we have? In this country? Mm. Too many. Way too many. And just with their safety, their inbuilt safety in their trucks is next level. Next level. <sighs> Not to mention, autopilot, it's all back. Sit back, that's what I mean, man. Up, keep driving. That'll help like reduce the brakes that they have to have so they can get their stuff here on time without having a speed and do all that stuff. You don't have to service? Yeah. <laughs> Tesla. Like your running costs will go straight down. Can't wait to get a Tesla. 129,000 for a base model. A model like with butterfly doors. One day. One day. They now accept Bitcoin though. 
So maybe if Bitcoin that's keeps smart, rising, hey, yeah. that's so smart. If Bitcoin keeps rising in the way they are, I might be able to buy one one day. Mm-hmm. With my point zero 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 one percent of the Bitcoin. Ridiculous, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm getting pretty full, man. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty choppers, to be honest. Mm. I don't know, I think that second piece of steak would just as nice. Mm. It didn't bump in your mouth as much. Not as much, but it's still tender. Mm. Um, we got the markets this weekend. Young, These guys are hanging around Younger Bar. Younger Bar. Hanging yeah. around tomorrow. We'll be there. Get your hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Oh. I don't think I can finish my piece of steak from the other Yeah, I know he will. A little fatty. Dogs lead it. <laughs> Probably already waiting at the door. Mm. Well, I only got one more note. It's not very interesting. I just saw the, the trailer to Godzilla and Kong. The new movie coming out. Is there another one coming? Mm. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. Looks epic, bro. Yeah. Like crazy epic, guys. If you haven't seen it, once you've finished watching this, subscribe to this, like to this. Because what was the last Godzilla that came out? It was like Godzilla yeah, vs. Good. Like the new breed of Godzilla. It was or something. Oh, oh, yeah, the God but Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> the two Godzillas are both Yeah, each other. yeah, but one was like. I think it was just even bigger and more mutant. Wasn't it called Godzilla? Pro I think so. Yeah. No, yeah. It was weird. They're all sort of the same, but different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're good. You watch King Kong take down Godzilla? Oh, he has to. Yeah, yeah. he's a beast. He's like Rillaboom. <laughs> he's Godzilla like a lizard. Yeah, like, like a big, yeah, lizard that comes out of the water, hey? Mm. Lives under the ground and... Lives in the center of the earth. Yeah. Mm. Big T-Rexy lizard looking mm. thing. Same, same thing. Big hungry guy. <laughs> oh, That's it. Stuck in my teeth. Mm. We got no more notes. Like I said, guys, I'm struggling to put myself on camera, so topics in my brain at the moment, um, I have nothing. Well, yeah. what do you think about the thinking of getting rid of money in a few years and so no more cash? I think that's a great idea. It's going to make our gold probably spike. Our raw materials come back into trading, which is really good. Uh, and it's going to push everything into the online cryptocurrencies and push us... It's a hard one. It's a hard one. Like, what's... You can accept... Like, we run a business and we have an EPOS machine, which is my mobile phone. So, like... We should start accepting Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, but, like, yeah. Bitcoin coming to the website soon. <laughs> business, you can understand. <coughs> but kids go to school, I used to give you pocket money for school. Touch shop. Add it to the school fees. Yeah. Yes, guys. Or deposit it on their chip and plant it in their wrist. Yeah. <laughs> you're not. You're laughing. That's coming. That's what, it, that's what Intel, it is. Intel just spent twenty billion dollars putting microchips on plants across America. Mm. But yeah. Did they spend twenty billion dollars putting microchips on plants? On plants. On plants. <laughs> Listening devices and one. I think they're devices. just running out of ideas of things. To or do. it was a dummy article that I was reading and I just fell for it like a <laughs> sack of donkey. Probably. Um, but yeah, honestly, before you had cash and money, you'd be traded and you bought it. You traded in gold, silver. Just Roman Atwood put out anything. a blog the other day that I literally, excuse me, yesterday. He bought his, yeah, he bought his kids a gold coin each because it's worth $1,500 because when he first bought his, it was in like 15 bucks. Yeah. Or like 1200 bucks or something. I don't know, I have to look for it. Yeah, your dad's got a $200 coin, um, shotgun in the wheel. <laughs> it's like Doomsday Preppers the other day, I was watching it. And they, they change all their cash for silver and gold so they can barter when the time comes. Not only that, it's like... It's a solid investment. It's a solid it's investment. Stock markets. It's look always going to have Look at value. every, yeah, look at every currency in the world up and down like mayhem with one little thing 
a whole economy can collapse like coronavirus and our dollar would be lucky because they've been printing more but soon we'll be paying for that where we'll have yeah money yeah. sorry for the language no money but then we gold because it's getting rarer and rarer the, the it's, less it's and less physical gold, we can only more have more so much of it wanna. it's going crazy just like cryptocurrencies oh, you can only have so many bitcoins as people slowly start to mine more and more it'll run out one day but all they're still mining that price is just going to go up and up and up because it's rarer and rarer people take the risk I want to go do it. We need to do a little. Let us know, guys. Would you like to see us go for a little fossil trip soon? Or is it something that Dan really likes? Haven't been, haven't been for a while, actually. No. The weather's getting cooler. cooler. And it could be really fun. Yeah. Once it gets a bit cooler, like, it's not getting. What do you mean it's getting cooler? No, it's it's 40 degrees outside today. Yeah. <laughs> it was hot. It was hot. Um, I moved the car from one side of the yard to the other, and coming out of the oven, just sweaty. Then he goes and puts his head in the hot box <laughs> of our hot dog cart, which has been sitting out in the sun all day. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel. Um, but guys, that'll probably wrap it up because I'm over talking. You finished? Yeah. I couldn't do it. I'm so full at the mm. moment. I hit the spot tonight. I don't know why. No. Yeah, we had steak varieties. Yeah. And I was, when we walked past the steak, all the way past the chicken, all the way down to the kangaroo. And then we walk all the way back to where we first started, yeah. to where the steak was, because it just looked the best. Stood there for about 20 minutes trying to think, what's the best cut of meat, or what's the nicest cut of meat? And then ended up getting both anyway. Getting up two. Because <laughs> we were literally deciding, do we get these ones or these ones? But hey, anyway, with that, they both taste like steak, and they're both pretty tender, so it doesn't really matter which steak you choose. And they were the same price. They were exactly the same price. Mm. But like you said, it's a marketing scheme. I really want to try like one of those expensive five hundred dollar wagyu beefs. Yeah, I've never tried the wagyu before, and if you that'd watch, be super so good. If you watch the most recent podcast um, of Impulsive, yeah, Mike Malak actually says, "Oh no, it was an old one. Sorry, because he was still with Lana." Yeah, and he had five of those five hundred dollar steaks in a week. And he said to himself, at what point am I sitting down with a $500 Wagyu beef, a gorgeous ex-porn star of a missus? <laughs> what point do I think I haven't made it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, what more do I want? He's like, Mate, being able to buy a $500 steak for dinner every night, you're crazy. That'd be fantastic, That's guys. Crazy. Sorry guys, we hit the time limit for what you can record on this camera, so it actually cut out. I could see it flashing in the corner, I was literally about to say, we're about to wrap it up there before it all dies. I didn't move, so hopefully it looks like it was just one, one cut. I'm pretty sure I was picking my tooth the whole time, which is not appealing to you guys, sorry you have to watch it. But just like that guys, hopefully we're back and more lively in Monday because we have a solid weekend at work. Which yeah, usually this weekend up. and then Monday, Tuesday, start settling down again. Oh, for you. Not for me. And then the It'll Easter work. Bunny comes. And then it's Easter, school holidays. we got to organise something fun for school holidays. Yeah, but you don't have to organise markets, so it's settling down in the sense that you can make videos. Let's hope I want to. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. But just like that, guys, always remember to love the life you have while creating the life of your dreams. See you in a few days. Bye.